Last summer, we basically walked around campus and we saw how many bottles and cups were just being thrown away, not even recycled, just thrown in the trash. So we decided why not try to turn that into usable filament for 3D printing. And by turning that into filament for 3D printing in a biomedical engineering lab, we'd then be able to turn it into prosthetics, orthotics, assistive technology devices, and other things to be used around the lab. So for this process, we have to put the cups that we get from banquets and places around campus into a grinder and a blender to get them to, into a uniform size. And then we put those uniform size pieces into an extruder to make 3D printable filament, which comes out as a long plastic string, which will then be put onto a spool. And that spool can be fed into a 3D printer to make any 3D printed piece that we need. So the benefit of that is it's completely zero waste because we're not adding in new filament, it's completely just from the old trash. So if we're doing the bottles, that creates a waste negative system because we're adding no new plastic to it, we're just taking waste from around campus. If we're just doing the old recycled prints, that's a zero waste system because it's turning old prints into new prints. These are made out of completely 100% recycled 3D printed filament. This one was old uh, filament. This is made of the cups that we collected from around campus. This piece here can be made into a wrist brace for uh, first responders. They can use this instead of having to make a cast at the hospital because that'll take a long time. These are completely moldable with hot water and this gives the orthopedic surgeon a base setting of their arm so they can build them a cast better. I've always been interested in prosthetics and especially this lab does a lot with prosthetics and orthotics and different assistive technology devices. So by starting with 3D printing here, that's sort of transitioned me into doing the assistive technology minor, which will then allow me to take this system and implement it into the 3D printed prosthetics and orthotics that are used throughout the campus and throughout different departments. For me, this is a completely new experience and this was the thing that I thought was the most interesting. So I decided to jump in on this project and uh, it's really cool so far.